Welcome to the first devlogue in an upcoming game me and my friends are working on. The title for the game isn't fully developed, but the final game name will likely be the title of what you are watching right now. Just to be clear, only 3 of us out of 4 have any experience in game development, and experience being about 30 minutes of it. So if you see some questionable decisions or sloppy mistakes, you know why. Oh, and really quick, you might want to watch this like a podcast, so yeah, enjoy. So first you wanted to know what game engine and coding language we would use. Most of us had next to nothing in terms of experience, but we ended up going with Roblox Studio. And I like Roblox is obviously pretty risk free and has low chance of anything bad happening. <laughs> hmm. Next, I made a Google Doc for us to list ideas. And I called, we got some ideas down and ended up with an RPG solid game and it being a roguelite. A roguelite is a game that features permadeath, but gives you an advantage for your next run. Example being like a game like Dead Cells, or very straightforward example, gaining a currency of you to buy permanent upgrades with that currency being gained upon death. After getting a nice overview, the workload was something that was rather obvious. Each person would have to assume a role, though everyone would be able to have fun programming or trying other things that they'd like. I'd be primary programmer, story creator, and possibly do with some animations. I'd also be later doing some arts. I never realized we would need art, honestly. Ghost would be also a primary programmer and be creating the map. Browse would be doing some designing in Blender to create weapons, enemies, accessories, etc. Finally, Jaden would be doing some sound design, from the noise of clicking a button to themes in different areas. After our meeting, I took a look at the ideas sheet. There were going to be main classes. These classes would be very designated towards their role, and subclasses could give you a hybrid taste. Luckily, switching between classes wouldn't be too hard, but that was to be decided later. I had to code an enemy so we could test the weapons and abilities on. So I wish I had the footage of when I started coding, but this is when I was basically almost done and just putting in the animations part of the code. Okay, so I'll try to explain some of the code here. Uh, for starters, all of these are variables, and then here we are trying to get the distance for the player so it actually can lock on. Though when I was doing this from reference, this is probably the part that I was most lost on, so I wish I explained this better, but no. <laughs> uh, here we have how the enemy actually stops in front of you to attack you, or else it will just keep running into you. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! And then further, we have some more animations and targeting. Of course, someone else could go more in depth or explain this way better than I can because I am not very good at this. At this point, we're going to make sure that everyone had a good idea on what they needed to get done. For us, we made a trail to compile many things that needed to be done, though nothing was there as of that date, so I worked on something that we'd likely need. A shop GOI. Now, I wanted the shop to be where you walk up to it, press a key to open it, and then walk away to close it. For whatever reason, this is the most impossible thing to find any reference for. Eventually I realized Roblox added a proximity prompt. So this is it for my personal devlog number one. 
Next, I'll be working on a running system, climbing system, character customization, and rolling mechanic. Have a great rest of your day. This is a bit of a bonus clip, so <clears throat> holds no sentimental value or it's not important, not related, whatever. You can leave now. I made this sound effect. Quadra! Like a few years ago or something. Uh, it's Phoenix Valorant saying Quadra, but Bass, Bass Boosted, however it's pronounced. Um, basically, I had a guy, when I was playing it, sound effect in the game, it kind of sounded like someone might have clipped it. And then I kind of got a little worried that someone was going to, like, say they made it. Uh, it's, it's almost like this is my first sound effect that generally I was happy with. Uh, and I think it's funny and I cherish it. So that's why I'm saying that I am the creator. It is very intense, I know. But also not important. Why are you still here? Now go, 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 go away. I'm wasting your time.